Let's start with a question. Can we treat spinal cord injury with conductive jello? Let me give you an answer. An average healthy adult takes around 6,000 steps every single day. But some of the 291,000 patients with spinal cord injury in the United States can't even take one. The spinal cord is so important because it connects the brain to the rest of our body. And when an injury occurs, such as from a car crash, fall, or gunshot wound, an entire section of nerves gets cut off below the injury, resulting in paralysis. The spinal cord cannot regenerate itself. And with no cure, patients are left permanently disabled. The problem with finding a cure is that it is exceptionally difficult to take what we do in the laboratory and translate it for use in the clinic. But in my PhD, I have solved that problem and developed a treatment that could one day cure spinal cord injury. So the first challenge I faced was to develop a material that could actually be used by surgeons. One promising material is a hydrogel that is similar to Jell-O. But like Jell-O, hydrogels are watery in nature before they set. And this is challenging for surgeons to use because it washes away after they inject it before it has time to set. I've solved this problem by developing a hydrogel that is a, has a paste-like consistency before it sets into a gel. So now a surgeon can inject it into an injury, it'll stay there, and then it can set into a gel in just two minutes. The second challenge I faced was to develop this material as something that neurons will be able to grow on and become functional on. One promising approach is electrical stimulation. Electrical stimulation can be used to help neurons grow longer, and it can also make it easier for them to communicate with each other. But typically, hydrogels are not electrically conductive at all. So I solved this problem by taking inspiration from the cancer field and incorporating gold nanorods into the hydrogel. The highly conductive gold nanorods can form overlapping pathways that electricity can flow through the gel. With this conductive hydrogel, surgeons can now inject it into an injury. It'll stay there and then it can be used with electrical stimulation to help neurons grow through the injury and reconnect on the other side. So to answer the question, can something as simple as conductive jello help the 291,000 patients with spinal cord injury? Based on my research, I think the answer is a resounding yes. Thank you. <laughs>